no matter how good your skill is, if you're not putting in some minimum amount of leads at the top, some minimum minimum amount of new opportunities, then that's going to be problematic. You have to ask yourself, what are you waiting for? If you want to waste more years of your life, you're not going to get any younger. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, I want to go over how to get regular dates on a weekly basis. So let's jump right into it. On my eight week mentorship program, the industry leading program to get guys extremely good, extremely fast. I tell all my students in the beginning, you need to be getting at least 10 new phone numbers per week. That's very important. At least 10 new phone numbers per week. How do you go about acquiring 10 new phone numbers a week? You have three main sources. Number one, online game. That's Tinder, Bumble, and Hinge traditionally. Number two, you have night game. That's bars and clubs. Number three, you have daytime game, traditionally streets, malls, cafes, etc. The formal instruction that I give the guys on the eight-week program is that you should be using the online apps collectively, meaning across the various applications, 30 minutes a day. For cold approach, night game, you should be going out Friday, Saturday at a minimum. Okay, have those nights blocked off and fixed that you will not set dates past like 10 p.m. Okay, on Friday or Saturday. You won't you won't meet up with rotation girls. If you have a rotation, you won't go on any new dates. You won't plan anything on Friday and Saturday night past 10 p.m. That's the time to go out and meet girls at bars and clubs. And then add in Thursdays if you can, even Wednesdays if you can. Okay, but it should be mandatory that you're going out at least Friday and Saturday night. Those are the two best nights of the week to go out and meet girls. Then for day game, I don't formally encourage guys to go walk around for hours on the streets waiting for the next pretty girl to, to show up. They can go and talk to her. Instead, I advocate the guys wait no longer than three seconds to cold approach a girl during the daytime that they see when they're out and about doing other stuff. So if you're walking to the gym, if you're at the grocery store, if you're walking on the street and you see a pretty girl, boom, you should go straight in and talk to them. After doing all that, after doing Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, half hour a day all week, night game, Friday, Saturday at a minimum, and talking to random girls during the daytime that you see when you're out about doing other stuff, if all that doesn't lead to at least 10 numbers a week, new phone numbers, mind you, then you need to either create additional online profiles or add in additional cold approach sessions. Okay, so let's say you get like seven numbers. You can now add in Thursdays. You can now create a second Tinder profile and you keep tweaking the different variables, cold approach sessions and online game sessions until you're getting at least 10 new phone numbers a week. Now, as your skills increase in each of these areas, like after you get your online profile optimized, you'll be getting a lot more matches. Once you plug into my Tinder messaging scripts, you'll be getting a lot more phone numbers being generated out of those matches. And once you're doing your cold approach properly, you will be getting more phone numbers more often from those environments as well. And then once you have the phone numbers, once you have those 10 phone numbers, then you just plug into the predefined text messaging scripts that I provide in the eight-week program. And that sets up all your dates for you. Now, the reason I say to have at least 10 phone numbers, ideally you want closer to 20, is that's going to set new dates for you each week. I've notoriously been transparent about the fact that you should be closing at about 10%. 10% of your phone numbers should result in hookups. I noticed in December 2018 when I had 1,000 girls, 1,000 new girls, that I had about 10,000 phone numbers in my phone. So it's about 10%. If you're looking to sleep with one new girl a week, you're going to need at least 10 phone numbers per week. If you're looking to sleep with potentially two new girls a week, you're going to need 20 new phone numbers a week. And in an advanced level, you can acquire even more, like 20 to 30. Then everything's defined for you. Okay, once you get the matches, you plug into the Tinder scripts. Once you get the phone numbers, you plug into the texting scripts and all that's going to generate dates for you. If you want to just save yourself a ton of time and effort and stumbling around in the dark and banging your head against the wall and frustration and all that stuff, go to the link in the upper left in the info card to book a call to talk to someone on my team about how you can plug into all that stuff today. Start filling your calendar with dates today. Start getting hookups this week. And we also have the link in the description in the pinned comment. That's like kind of what makes the whole machine run. If you stop acquiring new phone numbers, let's say that you're really busy for the week and you don't go on Tinder, you don't do any swiping there, you don't do any cold approach sessions, you end up collecting zero numbers for the week. Or maybe you got one or two offhand when you're out during the daytime or something like that, and then maybe they don't text back. Now you're dead in the water. So you need to keep that new lead flow steady at all costs. Okay, it's very, very important that you constantly have new leads coming in because if you turn off the faucet, so to speak, 
at the top, then it's hard to make anything pass through to the bottom, regardless of how good your skill is. You need to think of the dating game as a funnel. Okay, it's wide at the top and it goes down like that. No matter how good your skill is, if you're not putting in some minimum amount of leads at the top, some minimum minimum amount of new opportunities, then that's going to be problematic. That's going to end up where you're just not getting dates. Okay. Like I can have extremely high level of skill in the game. And if I don't do much lead working, then I may set zero dates for the week. Okay. And if you have zero dates, you're not going to be getting any new hookups either. I know a lot of you aren't used to getting 10 phone numbers a week. A lot of you aren't even used to getting one phone number a week or five phone numbers a week. So this will be outside of your comfort zone, but it's actually a lot easier than you think. Like on the eight week program, we have you get a professional photo shoot and we have my team of hot girls pick the top five photos. Once you've done that, then I write your bio for you and we apply aesthetic upgrades on your top five photos. So now you have the best version of yourself in professional photos and the top five pictures out of those hundreds of options already pre-vetted by hot girls. Okay, so you don't need to think, oh, I hope these pictures work. I hope these are the best. No, the girls on my team will vet that out for you. Then I write the bios for each guy personally. So now you have a rock star bio written by me and you have the best of your best pro photos and there's a set of upgrades on it. That's going to generate lots of matches, better quality and better quantity. It's usually a night and day difference. We had one student that was getting like two matches a week. He did all the optimizations through that process. And we also have like a 30 page guide we give you that teaches you exactly how to take your pictures. You can show the photographer the beginning part that has all the do's and don'ts and specific instructions for taking the best photos possible. And it also showcases a lot of our top clients past profiles. So you can see with rationale for why each picture works so well. So you can see like what makes a good profile and you can literally just copy poses and, and backgrounds and stuff from top profiles. We had a client that was getting two matches a week. He goes through this optimization process. Then he ended up getting 25 matches in a weekend and he plugged into my scripts and he ended up getting like 10 dates set out of it. It's usually like a 10x difference. It's a night and day difference. And there's no way around it. Once we do that optimization, you're going to be getting a lot of matches. Once you plug into my scripts, you're going to be getting a lot of phone numbers. Once you plug into my texting scripts, then you'll be getting a lot of dates. And then I show you exactly how to run your dates, exactly how to close your dates and get the hookup, exactly how to keep on the ones you want, and exactly how to do all the stuff in cold approach. So you don't need to try to figure all this out on your own. Once you're just tapping into all the optimizations in my system, the numbers come quite quickly. At this time of this recording, I have, we have a screenshot that I sent my editor. I have over 19,500 phone numbers. The lay count, okay, the amount of girls I've been with is only 1,000, I shouldn't say only, but 1,701. So it dropped a little below the 10% that I had once I had 1,000. Remember when I had 1,000 girls, I had about 10,000 phone numbers. Now I'm at 1,701 girls with 19,500 something phone numbers. So it dropped a little below 10%, but that's because I'm scaling the company. I'm placing a lot of emphasis on fitness. Okay, I'm in really good shape right now. I'm living with Liz, right? We have our, with, with my Brazilian wife, okay, it's a one-way open thing, so I can still see girls on the side, but I spend a lot of time with her and the dogs. I have a big rotation. Okay, when you're banging repeat rotation girls, you're not getting new lays, et cetera. But you know, I'm not complaining. So <laughs> 1,700 girls was still quite an experience. It's basically living out every guy's dream. The point is, is that it all starts at the top with acquiring enough phone numbers in order to make this all work. And on my program, not only will I show you how to optimize your online profile and run your cold approaches ideally and optimally and run your dates optimally and so on and so forth, but I show you exactly how to make a second or third Tinder profile, right? And guys typically say, oh, why can't I just swipe more on my original profile? Why would I make a second, third Tinder profile? It's because they limit the amount of total matches that any one profile can get per day. Imagine if you were to just use one profile and use it a bunch more versus combining all your matches with like two of your friends profiles matches it's essentially like cloning yourself so i can show you how to run the multiple tinder profiles and do the swiping with minimal time and set it up so that now you're drawing a bunch of matches and new lead opportunities from various additional tinder profiles okay and then along with your bumble and hinge profiles that brings in more the cold approach stuff brings in more. Then you just plug into the tech scripts and now you have a whole bunch of dates. And I also have scripts that set a lot of the dates straight to the house. So you can skip the coffee or drinks in most cases and just have the girl come straight to the house. Okay. So it's all figured out for you. I highly urge you guys to just stop trying to figure it all out on your own. Stop stumbling around in the dark. You can remove all the guesswork and curveballs. It's already all figured out for you. Okay. You can just tap in and be one of the next success stories. It's very rare that I don't get a guy very good, very fast. So all you have to do to find out more details is go to the info card in the corner, book a 30 minute call. Someone from my team will go over all the options, all the pricing and stuff like that.
Okay, the, the link is also in the description, the pinned comment. You have to ask yourself, what are you waiting for? Do you wanna waste more years of your life? You're not gonna get any younger. For those of you in your 20s, you'll be 30 and beyond soon, and you'll have wasted all those years. For those of you in your 30s, you're gonna be getting 40 soon. I'm gonna be turning 40 in three weeks. I could have lived a lot differently. I went into college not even having kissed a girl yet, and I was planning on waiting till marriage to have sex. I had no idea how to do any of this stuff. As I figured it out, my progress became exponential and I applied all my hyper analytical and optimization abilities to this game. I've always been very good at skill games like chess and poker and anything that has an element to it of skill. I love optimizing the system. I'm like a systems optimizer. And the vast majority of my time in my adult life, I spent towards optimizing this dating game. So for a small fraction of the price and time okay, that I had to put into all this, you can just plug in to all the best moves and start reaping the rewards of what that will bring to your life. Okay, so get on one of those calls in the corner here or in the description or pinned comment. Let me know what you think in the comments or any questions you have about how the system works. Watch my video on the end screen that goes through a flowchart diagram of how my system works and make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on a video soon. Take care. Take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed trauma factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.